Hi guys, welcome to episode 5 of my Counter-Strike Overwatch series where we try and find the cheaters and get them banned. It's been a long time since I made an episode and I thought after the latest update that Valve released where they made the game free to play maybe there's more cheaters or maybe there isn't. So I downloaded three cases to see if how, uh, of the three how many were cheaters. As you can see case 1 was a cheater. Amazingly, it's a spin bot. And guess what? He's spinning. Without actually putting in any effort, the dude just does some sudden spinning rotations while looking at the ground and gets multiple headshots. It didn't take me long to realize, well, I'm not going to look any further. Uh, he's a cheater. Uh, nail him. Try and get him banned. And let's move on. Um, for me, I don't understand. You're playing a game. You really, really think that cheating is going to make it more enjoyable. But anyway, moving along. Uh, case 2. I thought that maybe this guy won't be cheating. Uh, let's give him a chance. So yes, this case too. It starts off quite straightforward. We had Mirage B moving into market. Everything looks fine. The guy is just looking at B apartments. Next moment I was like, what the hell was that? The replay slow shows that he he used aim lock and it was so aggressive. It was like two or three meters of a sudden flick direct to the head. So, moving along with the video, I have uh, another look and check, okay, this guy is uh, definitely doing something very, very suspicious. Either he is ultra quick with the mouse, which I doubt, but anyway, then this happens. Did you see that? Uh, no. So, I'm going to replay it for you and then you will see it. Watch this move. He's looking in this direction at his teammates, who seem clearly quite pushed off with him. He suddenly does in 180, shoots the guy in the head and face back to the same direction that he was originally. How the hell? So, what it means is he's using super advanced aim lock. So he's not just your average cheater, he's some sort of super champion. And he's getting lots and lots of kills just because he's a cheater. I hate you. Uh, if I could actually reach out through the internet and physically wipe Counter-Strike from this guy's computer, I would. So, moving along, obviously um, I had to sentence the dude. And as you can see, vision assistance was one of the things. Um, there was the tiny bit of griefing where he shot one or two of his bodies just a little bit, but nothing serious. So, didn't nail him on that one. Moving along to case number three. So, I thought, no, there's no way there could be three cases in a row and all the cheaters. And then it starts off with him getting a headshot through the smoke. And I thought, wait a second. Okay, maybe he was just spamming and it was a lucky shot. So, ignore that one. Uh, move along. He goes through the smoke. Everything seems fine. Nothing unusual. So that okay, obviously, you know, there's a good chance he wasn't cheating. He's got himself a caught gun and he had a sudden amazing headshot with a revolver. Weird he chose to use that instead of the caught gun, but anyway, I'll also uh, maybe accept that it was a really, really high quality shot. He's got some skill. Okay, he's got the revolver out, even though he's got a shotgun with him. Not a problem. He's looking at ramp and heads there at quite a speed grenade comes in and bam headshot okay so uh, the impression i'm getting is it's possible he's using walls and this just about proves it because you can see he's following the guys through the walls headshot next guy headshot okay he misses that one uh, and thankfully he gets killed for his efforts um I'm fairly convinced this guy is using walls. Um, it's frustrating, obviously, because I've played more than one match with players that cheat. It ruins it for everyone. Um, some guys think it's funny because they actually get to win the game. I don't because eventually it gets to come back and bite you in the ass. Okay, moving along. He is now at catwalk, moving towards B apartments, check some guys in there and just randomly fire shots. Uh, it doesn't really hit too much. And then suddenly, guess what? It's a headshot. The fact that he's using the revolver to me is just weird, but anyway. I classify the revolver the same as Julie's. Uh, you buy it just because you can. So at this point, he's got plenty kills. Um, unbeknownst to his teammates, who probably uh, are unaware that he's cheating, they think they're doing quite well. They're kicking ass. Um, yes, they're not winning, but... It's still quite a close match. Okay, so we're on A. The terrorists are having a big, pu a big push onto A via ramp. He's just waiting by stairs. 
And then you can see he's doing some weird movements. In other words, he's not peeking the angles I'd expect him to peek. Tries to get a, a shot up at stairs and guess what? It's a another headshot. Nothing unusual there. Even though I've seen a few moves of his where it looks like he's using walls, I'm not 100% convinced. I'm like 99.9. So, unlike the previous two videos where I was basically done within a minute or two, uh, I, this, I let this one run. Let's see what he does. Let's see if there's anything else weird that he does. So now he's a terrorist. Uh, they were pushing B apps, one of the typical B rushes. They gave up on that and decided to go lower. He's doing one of his bunny hop moves. Um, takes a shot to the guy connector and that's two headshots in a row. He runs back and this was the clincher. As you can see here, he's starting to look through the walls to the top. Then he looks up, sees the guy above him on catwalk. And as you can see, he's, he's, he's following him. So that's, that's basically that. The guy just does jump off Ketua, goes towards Connector, thankfully he doesn't get killed. But um, our suspect, he's looking he's looking good as a cheater. So at this point I'm fairly convinced. I think my case has been proved. He's a cheater. It just, at this point, it doesn't seem like he's aiming very well. Not sure why his aim lock didn't work, but bam, there it works. It's possible that it's not said to be as aggressive as the previous dude. Moving to sentencing, I nailed him obviously for the aim lock and walls. I didn't nail him for anything else, even though it seemed as if he may have used a script for bunny hopping. But besides that, that was three cases I downloaded in a row with three cheaters. Um, I'm not sure, so sure the free to play mode was a good thing by Valve, but time will tell. Thumbs up if you guys liked this video and thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.